Hi, this is your lucky sir. It's a memory based JE main 2022 four noon session one 24 6 2022. Memory based, I can obtain it from one organization. You can check this. Total number of loan pairs in Melamine are Melamine is a compound like this. Here, number of loan pairs will be like this. So, this is a memory based question. If you remember the structure of melamine, then only you can answer. The answer is 6. Melamine, memory based, there are 6 nitrogens, each nitrogen one lone pair. Number of pi bonds in Marshall's acid is, again memory based, you should know what is Marshall's acid. Marshall's acid is H2S2O8, peroxodisulfuric acid. Here, number of pi bonds is asking, this is a pi bond, it's a pi bond, it's a pi bond, it's again a pi bond. So, number of pi bonds are 4. Memory based. Okay. So, if any question is little bit wrong, don't worry much. Which of these is not a broad spectrum antibiotic? Again, memory based. Biomolecules, chemistry in everyday life, polymers, these chapters, you need to revise thoroughly NCRT. Then only you can answer this question. Pencil in G is the answer. Memory based. No need to give any explanation there. Emulsion of water and oil is unstable and separates in two layers. Statement 2. It is stabilized by added excess electrolytes. So, statement 1 is generally emulsions of water and oil is unstable. So, it is stabilized by added excess of electrolytes. Electrolytes won't make it stable. Electrolytes make it unstable. So, statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect. A2 a plus B gives, uh, A gives rise to B plus C. Okay, this is given C by 2 like that. So, the equation in a hurry, it is not written properly. So, it is like this. B plus 1 by 2 C. So, what we can write here is, initially if it is 1 mole, at equilibrium it will be 1 minus alpha, this is alpha, this is half alpha. So, num total number of moles will be, total moles will be 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus half alpha. So, you can simply say minus alpha plus alpha gone. So, this is 1.5 alpha. 1 plus 1 by 2 alpha is 1.5 alpha. That is total moles. So, mole fraction is equals to. Mole fraction means number of moles of that compound by total number of moles. Number of moles are 1 minus alpha. So, 1 minus alpha by 1.5 alpha alpha by 1.5 alpha and this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 alpha means we will write simply 0.5 easy purpose 0.5 alpha by 1.5 alpha kp is equals to pressure of b into pressure of c to the power 1 by 2 by pressure of a law of mass action now pressure of b means this is alpha by 1.5 alpha into total pressure total pressure is given as p into pressure of c is 0 0.5 alpha 0 0.5 alpha by 1.5 alpha into p to the power of 1 by 2 1 by 2 means you can write square root type and p a pressure of a that is 1 minus alpha by 1.5 alpha to the power of 1. So, if you solve this one, you will be getting mole fraction, mole fraction, mole fraction, applying, 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 finally, you are getting this answer. Little lengthy, not a tough question, you just need some patience to answer this. I am not showing you the answers and how to solve these questions, I am just showing the questions. This is one simple one. You can try this question. Answer you see Kp is equal to alpha to the power of 3 by 2, p to the power of 1 by 2, 2 plus alpha 1 by 2. The molecule which has minimum dipole moment, minimum role in photochemical smog. Again, memory based, this is from environmental chemistry. So, N2, HCHO, NO and O3, they play a role and minimum role is by N2. Memory based, 
द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ क्रोमियम इन क्रोमेट एंड डाइक्रोमेट आय क्रोमेट मीन्स सी आर ओ फोर माइनस टू डाइक्रोमेट इज सी आर टू ओ सेवन माइनस टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज जीरो सिक्स बेटा प्लस सिक्स एंड अगेन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज अगेन प्लस सिक्स बोथ द केसेज इट इज गोइंट बी प्लस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड प्लस सिक्स सो द चेंज इज गोइंट बी जीरो ऑप्शन ए प्लस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स सो चेंज इज जीरो गैलेक्टोज इज विच एपीमर ऑफ ग्लूकोज ग्लूकोज एंड गैलेक्टोज आर सी फोर एपीमर्स सी द डिफरेंस इयर फर्स्ट प्लेस सेकेंड प्लेस थर्ड प्लेस फोर्थ प्लेस यू कैन सी इयर रेमेनिंग ऑल आर सेम ओ हेच ओ हेच ओ हेच ऑल आर सेम सेट दिस इज यू सी कंप्लीट अपोजिट सेट विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज स्टेबल नाइट्रोजन हेलेट नाइट्रोजन हेलेट एन सी आर टी स्टेटमेंट अगेन यू कैन गेट दिस स्टेटमेंट इन एन सी आर टी एन एफ थ्री इज मोर स्टेबल विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज स्टेबल स्टेटमेंट बी टू एक्स सिक्स इज लूस एसिड स्टेबल स्टेटमेंट आई एम सेंग सॉरी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट आई एम स्टिल इन द हैंग ओवर ऑफ स्टेबल ओके करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बी टू एक्स सिक्स इज लूस एसिड All the BH bonds in B two H six are equal. No banana bonds are there. So this is wrong statement. B two H six is a planar structure. No, it's a wrong statement. Maximum number of hydrogen bonds in one plane is six. Maximum number of hydrogens in one plane is six. No, it is four. One is above, one is below. So the right statement is this one only. So all these are again NCERT statements taken from group thirteen. That means prepare well. Don't miss any point in NCERT. This is metallurgy. Metallurgy direct question it is. Calamine, galena, galena is lead PBS. If you can see BP, BP options are here too. So any one of these is correct. Then sederite, sederite is iron carbonate. D must be R, D must be R, D must be S. PQRS. Sedate is FeCO3. D must be R. Must be here. Here, printing mistake is there. Okay, na. Okay, this print. These options are given wrong. Okay, so calamine is zinc carbonate. Spellerite is zinc sulfide. So these options are because of hurry. The options are. Right and wrong. Don't worry. Don't think too much about this one. So this question is from metallurgy. Metallurgy. You need to be very carefully uh, observing topic. Okay, now you must see this topic very carefully about this and uh, the purification methods, zone refining and Van Arkel method. All that Mons process. You need to see very carefully. This is again uh co2 co8 this structure is there in ncert this is again ncert based question ncert structure it is you can see this is co and co there are eight carbon monoxides in that eight carbon monoxides two carbon monoxides are bridging so the question is in the structure of co2 co8 x is the number of co co bonds co co bonds is one so x is going to be one and number of Uh, why is the number of CO CO terminal bonds? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one. This is why one plus six is equal to seven. This is one. He is asking about this. Which is conjugate dione? Conjugate dione. You can see these options. Very simple. Conjugate dione means it's a diketone with conjugation. See, conjugate dione. Basic level question it is. Two uh, seven dimethyl two six octad octadiene. Find the number of sp two have. Very very basic level question it is. You can see two seven dimethyl two six octadiene. Here the structure is given. You can check. Sp two carbons. This is sp two carbon. 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 What is asking? Um, find the number of sp two carbon in the product A. What is doing here? H plus and heating. 
H plus and heating means this compound will be giving you a ring type of structure. Okay, so this is the ring type of structure in which two bonds, this one, one double bond is converted, two double bonds are converted to one double bond. So this is sp2 and this is again sp2. So answer should be two. In the given compound, there are four, but in this, there are only two because ring factorization takes place. Which of the following is a polyester? Again, NCRT is the aim statement as it is. Dacran is a polyester. Which of the following have the maximum melting point? Maximum melting point is depending on the structures of this acetic acid, formic acid, propanoic acid, and butanoic acid. This point also you can take from NCRT. NCRT statement type question you can take directly. Carboxylic acids with even number of carbon atoms have higher melting points than those of odd number of carbon atoms. Among acetic acid, butanoic acid, the later molecules free uh, face more repulsion since acetic acid has higher melting point. So this is, you can say, one type of NCRT memory based question. In the NCRT memory based question. So organic also, this time, if you are if you are preparing now, if you are preparing tomorrow and day after tomorrow exam, you must be very careful about this. We were saying students the same thing repeatedly. Be professional be perfect at NCRT. NCRT is NCRT is actually enough. In the production of which of the following compound H2 is used? Okay, ammonia, Haber's process, direct question, easiest question. And X is HCP, Y is 2 by 3 of tetrahedral voids. Find percentage of X in the lattice. Answer is 42.85. I think this is of integer type of question. Question is X is HCP, so number of atoms per unit cell will be 6, hexagonal close packing and 2 by 3 of tetrahedral voids, okay, now, when 6 is there, the number of tetrahedral voids will be double, okay, it should be 12, but only 2 thirds is occupied, 12 into 2 by 3 is nothing but 8, so the percentage of X is equals to 6 by 14 into 100, because 6 are atoms from here, 8 are tetrahedral voids occupying atoms, so total number of atoms are going to be 14 and in that what is the role of this 6 by 14 into 100 that is equals to 42.85 percentage so i feel i think it's a average paper from my side uh, memory based questions are there particularly that questions like uh, name name based questions like that we can we can see around 5 to 10 questions are like the organic questions um, biomolecules, polymers, environmental chemistry, uh, chemistry of life, yeah, all chapters are covered, uh, remaining physical chemistry and all questions are not so tough. So, students who are good at NCRT can do very good score in this paper. Let's meet with one more uh, once we get the paper. Thank you all. Signing off, you're lucky.